Hi everyone, here is Abdul, and today we have another Versus, where I compare two watches against each other. In this week's episode, we have the Seiko 5 and the Citizen Automatic Field Watch. So, if you are new to the channel, I make um, English videos on Friday and Sunday at 4 o'clock uh, Central European time, so 16 o'clock. And on Wednesdays, I make actually German videos at the same time. So, if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the uh, bell button so you get notified uh, with my new videos. So, going back to today's video, um, I compare two uh, field watches that I have at the moment. One I will most probably return, and the other ones I'm thinking about selling, so it's a good uh, idea to, to start uh, making the comparison now. Um, I actually um, I actually have another field watch that I'm uh, currently wearing, uh, which is also a very comparable watch to these two. And uh, we'll make also another video uh, to compare it to the Citizen because I already compared it to the Seiko, this Orient. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And uh, maybe we'll make a, 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 a triple comparison um, for the German section. So be sure also to check that out. So going back to today's comparison, let's start with the newcomer, the Citizen. Uh, this uh, watch has a reference number of... Uh, NJ01111E. It has an automatic movement, uh, in house automatic movement from Citizen. Uh, I think it, it winds only one way. Uh, you have a case size of uh, 42 millimeters in, a lug, as in, in, in width, in diameter, and uh, 46 lug to lug so the distance from here to here and thickness 11.5 with a 22 lug width so these are the dimensions of this watch if compared to this watch it's very comparable you have also 42 millimeter diameter uh, the case diameter but the lug to lug is a bit bigger here it's 51 11.5 as well and 20 millimeter uh, price uh, around the same. Uh, this is around 150 euros. This is also around 140 euros. Um, if we look at the the loom on both watches, so we have here a bit of loom on the hands and a bit of loom on the pips, as you can see. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, the lighting today is good, but um, you have here on these pips, you get these. Is loom not on the, uh, the 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 numerals themselves, and at the same time here also you get on the hands, but the numerals are illuminated. So you have the numerals have loom, you have the hands has loom, and of course the triangle on the twelve. So the loom here is much better. I would definitely give the performance. To this watch, uh, uh, at least the specs, spec-wise, I would definitely give it to the Citizen. Um, if we look also at the case finish and um, the overall fit and finish, I would definitely give it to the Citizen as well. Uh, the crown here feels good, but not as good as this one. It feels more recessed here. You have here uh, uh, more tolerances. Uh, the case finish itself, you have here uh, a satin brushed, you have polished on the sides, here you have more depth, you have chamfers, you have chamfer on the bezel, chamfer on the side of the case, you have satin brushed in this side, you have polished, 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 and then brushed, and then brushed, polished, brushed, definitely much more uh, work went into making this watch than the Seiko 5, that's, uh, that's for sure. Uh, water resistance, here we come to the, one of the biggest uh, Achilles heel of uh, of the Seiko 5, um, it has a 50 meters water resistance, the Citizen has a 100 meter water resistance, that's why I am I was thinking about um, yeah, uh, uh, not sending the Citizen back, but I thought, okay, if, if I did this I would keep a lot of watches, I actually need to start 
sell a lot of my watches, including the Seiko 5 um, and the Oriental Teddy Y at the end, um, because I need to, to start to reduce my collection. I need, I've need. i been trying last year to, to get into indie watches, to get into independent watches, and with a collection that is uh, 30 watches or so, I'm trying to sell some, some watches, but uh, I have now reduced them to only seven vintage and the rest are modern watches. Uh, most probably I won't be selling any more vintage. Um, if I acquire more vintage watches, I will be selling them, but the ones I have, I won't be selling them because uh, I can see also vintage, vintage watch market getting more appreciating in the, in the next years. Um, that's why I'm thinking about buying these modern pieces. Because uh, like I said, I'm oh, sorry. Like I said, the 50 meters water resistance for me, um, it's definitely uh, uh, something that I, like a KO criteria. Uh, I reviewed also a watch, uh, I think, in the past couple of weeks, uh, which was a dress watch from Riser. It has a 50 meters water resistance, but that was a quartz. And um, definitely I would have loved 100 meters, but for a field watch to have only 50 meters and the crown would be that 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 badly uh, installed and you can see the tolerance you can see just the inside here almost um yeah so that's uh that's basically it um i'll put them now on my wrist and put them on the time grapher uh to compare them so uh, you, you can see them together um so let's let's make this one a bit tighter here and we can put the other one next to it so you can see them both next to each other so if we look at the watches next to each other you can see on my uh on my wrist 17, 17 centimeter wrist. The Citizen just works perfectly with the 46 uh, millimeters leg width. Just the, if the dial was, was Eastern Arabic, I would have definitely sold my Seiko on Orient and, and, and put the Citizen in the collection. Um, I have already Arabic dial for the Fortis, but I have these two field watches which don't make any kind of sense uh, having them um, in the field watches as they are 50 meters and... Uh, that's why I'm uh, thinking about uh, also selling them. So if you're interested in, in, in the Orient or the Seiko 5, uh, hit me up with an email or uh, write down in the comment section and uh, we could come to agreement, uh, uh, hopefully that uh, make us both happy. So let me get now the uh, my time grapher and we will see how will the watches react so let's take first the old school not old school but uh, the watch that i had before pause and then come back so as we can see actually the movement on this one went back to zero somehow which is great it has a, a high beat error 1.3 uh, and uh, amplitude of 225 and we can see here plus 12 so that that most probably is the range i think it just goes down to zero and just goes up plus 12 and then goes back to minus something and then goes zero and then continues like this because that high beat error and we can see also it's running on 21 600 vibrations per hour so we'll take this one off put the citizen in Restart it. And we'll pause it and then we'll come back after a while. So as we can see, it has a plus 12, plus 16, mm, lower beat error, higher amplitude. That means the movement is more healthy. And uh, yeah, it's more running on 21600 as well. So let me get this out of the picture and put the two watches next to each other one last time. So basically my last uh, words on these two watches 
I would have got the Citizen if I didn't have the Seiko, to be honest. If I'm buying now my first uh, field watch, I would definitely go for the uh, Citizen. The shape, the case size, the movement. Um, even the loud rotor that is on the Citizen is still not as loud as the one on the Seiko. The case finish, 100 meters water resistance, automatic movement. The leather strap here is much better than the uh, bracelet. The throw away bracelet then came with the Se Seiko 5. So I definitely go with the Citizen. They didn't expect it to, uh, um, didn't expect the Citizen to be that much better. But it is. So on this bombshell, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video. If you like this kind of content, or if you, or, or if you like this video, don't, uh, yeah, invitation to like and subscribe, and hopefully see you in the next one. Have a great one, everyone. Bye bye.